Just to let you know, the trip along line 60 is going to be split up into three parts. Part one is out, well, now. Part two is going to be out tomorrow, and part three should be out on Sunday, but I don't know yet because I haven't recorded it yet, but I will go record it tomorrow or Friday, so it should be out on Sunday. Enjoy the video. Hello. Today we're going to go west again, but via a different route, because although we're going to go towards the Belgian border again, we're going to take line 60 now instead of line 70. If you remember, line 70 goes directly towards Belgium, while line 60 curves around south via Esch. Let's go. Aston, is this a joke? It's nice that you have your power sockets, but they're practically impossible to get to. We have electricity. This is Hovald. It's, I think, the joint newest station on the network, opened in December 2017, but its opening was kind of overshadowed by the opening of Pfaffenel Kirchberg and the tram and the funicular, which is a shame because it's Quite a nice looking station, at least on the platform itself. Let's take a look at how it looks elsewhere. We have like 20 minutes until the next train. Only some of the stations on the route today will be covered by a scheduling batterne that line 30 was. Here there's more frequent REs that actually stop at some stations. Somebody actually paid someone to decorate this. This is nice. Okay, I take that back. The outside of the exit of the station is basically a roof, a parking lot, and a cactus. Not very nice. Where do these stairs go? A locked door. No gloomy underpass here. French. Over there, in the direction that we came from, I saw as the train was passing the Bettenwald rail yard, which is, it's a real shame that you can't see it from here behind the bloody industrial area, because if you want to look at trains of all shapes and sizes, all classes, with or without locomotives, that's where you go to look at them. I'll try to get some pictures of it on the way back, maybe. At this point, Passmark said a bunch of shit that's completely I'll try fucking to get some wrong. Of it at some point, or you can just Google it. Also, I'd just like to point out how bloody long this platform is. Yeah, this is one long platform. Oh Christ, I wasn't expecting a TGV! <sighs> oh fuck, I just realized I can't get the 55 because it's an RE and I won't stop at Bersham where we need to go to next. And I don't exactly feel like doubling back from Bettenburg. So I guess we're waiting for the 1306 RB. <sighs> Luxembourg. I mean, I understand your reasonings, but come on. Three, two, one.
suspicion with an even gloomier underpass than most stations. Honestly impressive. Wow, but there's something that I want to see up here on this side. When I said a ways away, I meant it. Ignoring the part where I didn't actually say it. I have to be back at Berchem in less than half an hour, otherwise I'm gonna have to wait another half an hour there, which is going to knock my plans out of whack slightly. Thankfully on this line, there are more bigger cities, so there's more REs and they stop more frequently. Like there's uh, Nurtonge, Schifflonge, Esch, Belvan Université, Differdonge. So the only stops we're actually gonna have to use RBs for are gonna be all the Belval blah 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 stops and Oberkorn and Niederkorn, I think. Only one way to find out. Well, several. Also, cargo train. That over there is what we came out here to see, and unfortunately, I think this is as close as we're gonna get to it. That's Berchem substation, one of the three substations that supply electrical power to the Luxembourgish network. The others being at, I think, Belleval and Valverdonge. Future marks, can you check? Well, actually, past marks, there's a fourth one either under construction or already open, I'm not sure, at Flebourg. Thank you. However, there's still the story of Line 50, and yep, this is another episode of Mark Spolikov's monologues about things only Mark Spolikov could possibly care about today, electrical power. Because if you remember that I told you a couple episodes ago, and I seem to be reminding you every single episode, that Line 50, the one to Arlon, used to be electrified at 3 kV DC. At that point in time, I actually can't remember what... I've skipped over a bunch of useless waffling about power distribution. Don't get me wrong, that sh is interesting, but the way I presented it here is f***ing boring. But what handles Arlon now, Line 50? Well, actually not Arlon, because on the Belgian side, it's still a 3 kV DC. But on the Luxembourg side, up until climbing is 25 kV. And then when they cross the border, there's a gap, and the trains have to coast through and switch current there, which apparently the Belgian locos suck at. I think. It's Belval that handles the power for Line 50 up to Kleinbettingen, but I don't know. Right, let's go back. Back up. Holy hell, that's not bad. How much time do we have to kill? 10 whole minutes. 20 minutes later. Unfortunately, the wind noise in this clip ruined it beyond repair, but I was basically talking about how Betzenburg is a rubbish station and all that. Which we're going to see next time. Lies! And then France, but we do not go to France. Although this is cool, and more stations should do it, signposting where the trains go to on each platform because it's relatively consistent most of the time. Good job. Gloomy underpass with no ramp stairs. And we have another Eaton platform. One, two, three, five, six. Although there is a track right here in the middle where four would be, so I suppose that Either there used to be a platform there but isn't, or they're just numbering tracks, not platforms. Hmm. Huh. Also, if you're wondering why there's signs for rail replacement bus services everywhere, that's because basically the entire line from Luxembourg to Bettenburg has been under maintenance several times. There was a period of RRBS about a month or two ago, and there's going to be another one in a couple of weeks at the time that I record this. I think they're basically rebuilding and moving the entire line 
Although future marks is probably about to correct me on that. I mean, the lines are getting double tracked, so you're basically right, past marks. Nice. So that's the story of all these rail placement bus services. Fancy track. All right, let's go. Stadler. To be honest, I'm kind of getting tired of Stadlers now. But then again, I don't like Bombardiers. Or Class 2000s. God, oh, f this train's full, Jesus Christ. Nurtzange Station. Oh, here we are. Back again. Ramp stairs. An ape. Loving these sound barriers, though. Also, those ones over there on the other side, because trains are noisy, citation needed, and people don't like having that noise right next to their house, citation needed. So that's what they decide to put up to get rid of the sound. I don't know how well it works, because I don't live in Nerzange and don't particularly want to. Old station building, and then this monstrosity of brutalism. What is it with the CFL and their love of brutalism? Also, exposed wires. Have mm. crossing. Mistimed level crossing. Let's go rub some Whatever the hell this is instead. Eh, three out of ten would not rub again. Word of a device, don't take that carriage, that's where the shitters are. Much better. Chiflange. Not only is it a building site, it's a shitty brutalist building site. However, let's at least take a moment to recognize the fact that it has an actual ramp, not just shitty ramp stairs. Still, not great though. Oh wow, this seems really safe. Oh wow. Oh, yeah, well, that's why it's blocked off, of course, silly marks. Oh, God, duck, it's starting to rain. Reap. Stadler. Sunset. This might this, this might take the crown for worst station so far. Because this this is impressive. 
I mean, I kind of like the steel design thing that they've got going on to talk about the South's industrial heritage, but it's just depressing. 120 for a Coke, Christ almighty. Oh well, I'm falling asleep. Thank you. All right, let's go. Nice. You can't really see it if I zoom in, but at the bottom here are Esh's brilliant noise barriers against passing trains being too noisy and yeah, only trouble is if you're sitting on the lower level of a Stadler, Bombardi or Alston, they block the view. Just like that. Zoom out for this, even though that's gonna put a reflection to because this is the train yard. Civilized beeping. Oh, Christ. What a depressing station. Why are all train stations depressing? Would explore Belval more because it's actually has some really cool scenery around it and the train yard over there but Christ on a tricycle it's raining yeah good job Mark just get just get 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 more raindrops on the lens why don't you I think I have to clean this now Will Marx ever make it out of depressing rainy Belval? Will he just use some editing magic and cut to when it wasn't actually rainy? You'll just have to find out in the next part. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time.